All right, now we're going to put the sine rule into practice. So looking at this triangle here, we want to find angle A. Well, angle A is over here. So since I want to know an angle, I'm going to put that on top. Sine A over, the match to that is 16. Sine rule tells me this must be equal to sine, I know this angle, so I'm going to use that, over the side across from it, 13.4. Now I want my angle A, so I need to get rid of this divided by 16. So sine of A is divided by 16. Opposite of dividing by 16 is multiplying both sides by 16. So this is going to cancel. I'm going to put all of this into my calculator. Sine of A, whoops, sine of A is equal to, put all of this into my calculator. So I've got sine 42 divide by 13.4 times 16. Check my mode, make sure I'm in degree mode. Yes, okay. I get 0.79 dot dot dot. I'm not rounding this. I want to know the angle, so I need to do sine inverse. So now sine inverse of that whole answer, and I get about 53.0 degrees. So I'm writing down the point zero to show that I've rounded to this 53. It wasn't exactly 53, but it was really close.